Ziemia odwzajemnia swoje spojrzenie. To tytuł wystawy, którą od 23 czerwca można oglądać w celariach Kolegium Majus. Jest to prezentacja prac fotograficznych profesora Douglasa Zuka z Uniwersytetu w Bostonie. I began to think that many times the reflection is more beautiful than the reality. Uh, we look at something and we say, oh, it's nice, and, but then the, at certain times of the day and at certain light from the sun, glass, glass um, on a window, on windows anywhere can be a new expression. It's difficult, I found, because at certain times of the day, you see nothing. <laughs> it's only on a certain angle of light, certain amount of light, and then there would be this expression. So for me, it is kind of a new expression. Uh, when I think of the Impressionists, like uh, in the late 19th century, uh, they had this impressionistic view that I think came from a lot of reflection in the water. Um, but I don't know if many people were thinking that there was a, a kind of a new art expression in the windows, in the glass. Ideą wystawy jest ukazanie innych wymiarów przestrzeni, które ukryte są w odbiciach i refleksach szyb i szkła. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I thank all of you for coming today, and I hope you think highly enough of the photographs that you will tell other people to come. And see them. W Muzeum Uniwersytetu Jagiellońskiego profesor Douglas Zuk przedstawia cykl swoich prac poświęconych Krakowowi. I wanted to really express some of my ideas in art, even though I am a scientist and I work pretty much in ecology and in biology. But in my visits to Krakow, through a teaching here and doing lecture and research, Krakow is so beautiful, but I found a different part of Krakow that maybe people did not see, and these are these reflections. I would walk around Krakow uh, between my lectures and on a day off, and I would look around and I would see these windows uh, that were showing a different world. Uh, the tourists were all taking pictures of the buildings but I saw that there was another expression, and so the art became very important.